to another video. So, you really want to see the tennis at Wimbledon, but don't have a ticket? There are still some ways to get to see the action. In this video we will look at the queue at Wimbledon, and I will explain the best ways to use it. I will also show you my personal experience from queuing at day 3 of the Wimbledon, and a few glimpses from what you can expect once you are on the inside of the Wimbledon premises. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I will show you how you can get into the center court, number 1 and 2 courts, without queuing from crazy early hours. Every day, the queue gives you a chance to see Wimbledon Tennis live. Once you arrive to the queue, you will be given a queue card. Keep this safe, as you will need to show it at several checkpoints to get in. I would recommend to take a picture of it, just in case. I've seen many people getting denied entry because they lost their queue card. You really don't want that after queuing all day long. The first 500 queue cards give you access to the center court. Queue card 501 until 1000 will give you the opportunity to buy a court 1 ticket, and with the number of 1001 to 1500, you can expect to secure a ticket for the number 2 court. Anything higher than 1500 will give you the chance to buy a ground pass. It will give you access to the ground and courts 3 through 18. See the prices here for 2023. The queue is located on a big grass field, just northeast of the main grounds. There are plenty of food stalls and toilets in this area. A big yellow flag with the letter Q will show you where the end of the queue is. Up until around 9am, there is a constant busy flow with people arriving to the queue, but after 9am it starts to slow down. With a number above 5000, don't expect to get in before 12pm. So bring a blanket, an umbrella, and some drinks and snacks to enjoy. And this is my story from the world's most sophisticated queue. I arrived just before 9am to the grounds. After finding the end of the queue, I waited to get my queue card. The skies looked a bit dark, but of course I didn't have an umbrella. After about 20 minutes, we received our queue cards. They are day specific and has a number printed on them. After an hour and a half, the skies opened up. But nothing stops an enthusiastic Wimbledon queuer. After the rain stopped, the sun came out and everyone was in a better mood. After a few more rain showers and time check 1221, it was time for a pizza. You can leave the queue for up to 30 minutes to go to the toilet and grab some food. There is a really good guide published by Wimbledon, I will link it in the description. Things started to move around us and it was soon our turn. At time 1341, it was finally time for us. Around 5 hours of queuing paid off. We made our way towards the grounds and from this point it usually takes around 20 to 30 minutes until you reach the ticket sales. On the way there there are plenty of fun sponsored activities and we were offered free coffee and juice. After reaching the ticket sales booth it was just to pay and the ticket was yours. A really good feeling after a long morning. You have to go through security checks where certain restrictions apply. See this poster for more information. But it might be good to know that you can bring a 500ml flask, two cans of beer or a bottle of wine. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of narrated travel videos. Once you're in, you will have the center court right in front of you and the famous order of play schedule board. You can pick up a map from any of the information booths around the premises. The hill is a popular hangout for ground pass holders where two big screens will show you the center court and number one court action. Court 18 is also a popular court. In total there are 18 courts, here you can see court 14 through 17. What if you really wanted to get into the main courts? If you didn't get one of the first 1500 cue cards, there is still a way to see the action on the center court and the number 1 and 2 courts. This is by going to the resale ticket booth at the top of the hill. As guests with tickets to these courts leave the grounds, they are getting resold at a very attractive price. Head to the hill resale office to get your chance on these tickets. 
Last year I was lucky enough to see Djokovic versus Van Rijthoven at Sunny Court this way. I hope you will try out the queue after seeing this video, but maybe choose a sunny day if you can. It's a fun experience and you'll be surrounded by fellow tennis fans from all over the world. That's all for this episode. Enjoy your day wherever you are. Bye now.